Hello, FCS parents. I hope you guys have had a great week. Uh, I know I haven't done a Thursday Thoughts over the last few weeks. It's been really busy around here. I'm in meetings just about every day, but I did want to make sure I checked in with you this week to update you about a few things and I tell you about some things going on here on campus. First of all, there's only four and a half weeks left in the school year. It seems crazy to imagine, just four and a half weeks left. Uh, I know most classes, my classes in particular, uh, we're getting into the final units of our curriculum, so uh, students can start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we're almost there. God has been so good in getting us to this point, uh, and I'm looking forward to having a strong finish to the school year. Now, many of you know, uh, for our high school students, uh, we have had an agreement with Rodriguez High School over the last several years that any of our students that live in the attendance zone for Rodriguez High School uh, can play sports at Rodriguez High School, and we ha do have a number of students that take advantage of that. Uh, we've wanted to sign those agreements with Fairfield and Armio. They've been a little reluctant over the last several years to do that. However, uh, just this, uh, this last week, we signed an agreement with Armio, and uh, I'm talking to the athletic director at Fairfield High School right now. It looks like we're going to sign an agreement with Fairfield High School as well, which means we will have an agreement with all three high schools here in Fairfield. Uh, so any students that live in Fairfield in any of those attendance zones for Rodriguez, Fairfield High School, or Armio High School will be able to play sports at those schools. And I know there are a number of students that are looking forward to doing that. And that's something very exciting for us. We, we are not big enough to have our own athletics department. It is something we would love to do down the road. We're just not quite there yet. Um, COVID is kind of... Uh, put that on hiatus for just a little bit. We're hoping to get back on track uh, to seeing that happen eventually. Uh, but in the meantime, before that happens, uh, our students are able to play sports at other schools. We know it's very important for a lot of students. Sports has been very important in my life. Uh, I know that it's very important in the lives of our, many of our students as well. So this is a great opportunity for those kids to still attend school here at Fairfield Christian School, still get that biblical worldview, still get that uh, Christ-centered edu education uh, that we want so desperately for our kids, uh, yet they still have the opportunity to play uh, organized sports at the various high schools in the area, and that is great. It'll be great for our retention of our students. I know we lose uh, uh, several students uh, every year that want to go to uh, public high schools to take advantage of those types of things. And so now they can still go to school here and take advantage of that in the high schools in the area. I am also working right now on Vanden High School. Uh, I, I want to sign an agreement with them. I know we've got several students that will be going into high school next year uh, that are live in the Vanden attendance zone and want to be able to play sports there. So if we can expand that, we certainly will. Uh, but again, it's a great opportunity for our students and a great, it's a great move forward for us here at Fairfield Christian School to have those agreements in place. Uh, next week, on Wednesday, April 28th, we have Terra Nova testing. Uh, this is our standardized testing here at Fairfield Christian School. Uh, it's, our, it's, it's the way that we kind of uh, assess where students are at. Uh, and I do want to tell you, we use standardized testing a little bit differently than public schools use standardized testing. We certainly get all the data uh, from, from those tests back. Uh, how we use that data is a little bit different, however. Uh, the primary way that we use the data that we get back from our standardized tests is to compare a student to themselves. Now certainly we get all the data comparing students to other students and all that kind of stuff. That, that data, uh, well, well, we'll take a look at it. Uh, what we really use that data for is to inform us about our programs and about our curriculum, things like that. Uh, but in terms of the student themselves, uh, we only want to compare a student to themselves. Each student is unique. God has created us all unique and individual and different. Uh, and so what, what works for one student is not necessarily going to work for another student. And so the, what this testing does, it allows us to uh, see how this student has done from one year to the next. We want to see uh, a year's growth in, in one year's time. That, that makes sense. Uh, so when we get that data back, you want to see a 1.0. That means they've had one year's growth in one year's time. Uh, quite honestly, our students have averaged over the last uh, since six years since I've been here, anywhere from 1.3 to 1.7 in terms of the average across the school. So uh, it's been fantastic. Some of that is kids working ahead, some of that is kids catching up, uh, but our kids are learning. Uh, and again, we take that data, compare a child to themselves to see how much they've learned, how much they've grown over the past year. And we use that information to also help drive us in terms of how we want to adjust things for that individual student, how we may want to adjust our program. Uh, and so that data is very important to us. And again, it's only from third grade through 10th grade. Only third grade through 10th grade students take this standardized test. Uh, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade, they will have a normal day. Uh, their schedule may be adjusted slightly to uh, accommodate some of the testing that will be taking place in the other elementary levels. Uh, but K-1-2 will have a normal day. Uh, 3 through 10 uh, will be a rigorous day of testing. So parents, please make sure your kids get to bed early. They get lots of rest. 
please make sure, as they should every night, quite honestly, uh, make sure they have a hearty breakfast in the morning. Again, as they should every morning. They need fuel to run this brain up here. And when students are tired and lackadaisical and they're not well energized, they tend not to do very well in school. So make sure they have a good breakfast. Make sure they get plenty of sleep so that they're ready for testing on Wednesday, April 28th. Um, students that are in 11th and 12th grade, uh, we're actually not going to require them to be here on campus. Uh, they can be here. Uh, we'll have them working independently on some of, some of the work that they need to do. Uh, but uh, the focus on that day is going to be on our Terranova testing to make sure we get all that testing done. It is the all day uh, process to get the students through the tests. Uh, they will be mentally exhausted by the time they are done. But it is good for them and it's good for us. Uh, and we'll make sure we give them plenty of breaks throughout the day to make sure that they have a chance to kind of recuperate, recover, and be at their best for the next test. There's a whole series of tests uh, they've got to do throughout the day. So uh, it'll be a long day, but it'll be a good one and a, a productive day that'll give us lots of data here at the end of the school year. That's really all I've got for this week. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Once again, if you guys, as always, have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, please make sure you contact us and let us know. We love to hear from you guys. Uh, we want to make sure that we make Fairfield Christian School the best experience possible. And part of that is you and your input for us here at Fairfield Christian School. So again, have an awesome weekend. Hope to see you guys real soon. God bless.